This your venue? Not bad. Bigger than I expected. Wait, what? You're not supposed to know about this place yet. Aren't you forgetting something, Bonafide Beetle Battle King? We elite beetle fighters can sense each other's presence. Or how else would we have crossed paths last time? Looks to me like you're still busy frantically preparing. Is that because you don't have a clue how to beat us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't know, me and my Oni Kabuto gotta get our brainwaves in sync before a battle. And until we're ready to roll, I always conserve my energy and keep a low profile. I just underestimated the strength of your Beetle Battler's sixth sense is all. <clears throat> Grandmaster Hanakado! You did well to track me down, I'm impressed. Looks like this bonafide Beetle Battle King needs to watch out for pretenders to the throne. But you're about to regret showing up here uninvited because you have just earned yourselves a pre-Beetle Brawl trouncing. Good! You seem more confident this time. And it sounds like you actually have a game plan. But if I crushed you right away, I'd miss out on all the fun. So I'll let my subordinates play with you first. <laughs> Using your minions to size up the competition now? Then we'll just send out Flying Lavender... Uh, <clears throat> nope, nope. If Flying Lavender Melon's representing the Arataki gang, we gotta rise to the occasion. We'll need a better title. Hmm. Uh, ah, got it. We'll send Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon out to teach you a lesson. Huh? Why Paimon? Arataki gang, I'm here to duel. Oh, what now? Has Grandmaster Hanakato sent another kid to challenge me? Is he running out of people? Because this is some serious bottom-of-the-barrel material. It's not you I'm after. Empty vessels make the most noise. This blonde gal, on the other hand, looks like a strong and able warrior. I take it that she's the real leader of the Arataki gang. <laughs> now that's what Paimon calls a good judge of character. Go on, praise her some more. Hey, hey, what are you two talking about? Well, my compadre here is strong for sure, but, uh, she's just outside help. Make no mistake, there's only ever been one leader of the Arataki gang, and that is yours truly, Arataki Ito. Don't flatter yourself. I don't care about the Arataki gang's internal affairs. I just want to battle strong opponents. Let's see just how good Blondie here is at beetle fighting. Undisciplined, inelegant, unoriginal, uninspired, and completely uncoordinated. Hey, what you complaining about? Oh, let me guess. All your teammates we defeated? Ugh. I'm talking about your fighting style. Uh-huh. Have you been hit in the head by a specter or something? This ain't some circus show, pal. You want to know what my style is? Uncheckable strength, unwreckable will, and undefeatable beetles, that's what. I can give you a demonstration, if you dare. Ugh, you bring back some bad memories. I do not deal well with loud and obnoxious types like you. Ah, but this blonde fellow looks like easy pickings. <laughs> All right, I'll challenge him. <laughs> Padre, did you hear what this joker just said? He thinks you're an easy win. So, uh, how about you show him a little Arataki gang hospitality? Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I have come to avenge Electra. Prepare your Oni Kabuto. After I defeat you, I'll take down the entire Arataki gang one member at a time. Well, White Iron Lavender Melon, looks like this guy's challenging you to a duel. And there's no backing down from something like that. Take Crimson Staff with you and go nuts! Hey! Which one of you is the ringleader? Step up. It's time to fight. I am Grand Rook Sinichi, a giant among giants. Grandmaster Hanakado has demanded the head of the Artaki Gang's leader. And I'm here to collect it. Where do you get off, huh? 
And what's the big idea of putting grand in your name? You trying to steal my limelight, you little punk? Okay, giant among giants. Time to cut you down to size. So tall. And you're... you're an Oni. You look like you could eat me for breakfast. Why is a guy like you into beetle fighting? It's just a kid's game. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, excuse me? Kid's game? Oh, you did not just say that. Seems to me like you don't know the first thing about beetle fighting. Your misconception begs correcting by a veteran, my dude. Yeah, go take him down a notch. You can do it, Bullchucker. Looks like this is happening. Fine, bring it on. Splendid! Splendid! I did not expect the Arataki gang to defeat so many mighty beetle fighters. It seems that you are well versed in this art. I take back what I once said. You are respectable and worthy opponents, and I must face you as such. With my full strength! <laughs> oh, it's on! The final showdown and my soon-to-be final victory! I don't know how you've been leading your crew, but the results speak for themselves. The Arataki Gang rules! Grandmaster Hanakado, get ready to battle. I see, I see. Let us battle once more. This time, I'll see through all of your methods. Victory and defeat no longer seem so important. Let's just battle for fun, shall we? It's rare that I should find such a great opponent. It would be a shame to end our battle so soon, would it not? Sure, bring it on. But seeing through my secret beetle fighting techniques? <laughs> nah, little fella, that ain't gonna happen. If you'll admit that I'm the stronger beetle fighter, I'll fight you for as many rounds as you want. <laughs> Astounding! <laughs> Amazing! Even though your fighting style differs greatly from mine, I resonate strongly with the passion you imbue into your Oni Kabuto. In time, you shall surely become a true champion of the beetle fighting world. You're pretty good yourself. You managed to win an impressive 570 out of our 1,141 matches. Of all the beetle battle marathons I've fought in my time, you have lasted the longest by far. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. No, I won 571 rounds, so I'm ahead. Also, you have a home advantage. Taking that into account, it is in fact I who am the superior warrior. Huh? Why you gotta be so stubborn? I remember our score clear as day, and Mamoru is our witness. Isn't that right, Mamoru? Boss, I... I really can't take it anymore. Please let me sleep for a while. Fine, since I'm a generous guy, I can give you one round, no problemo. I'll just defeat you next time. And if you're still not convinced, we'll do the next battle on your home turf. I'll prove that it's about the beetle fighter, not the location. That suits me just fine. Follow me. Boss, boss! There's a letter from Shinobu. Take a look at this. Huh? Where'd the boss go? He was beetle fighting right here just a moment ago. Uh, is it urgent? Because Bullchucker just left with Grandmaster Hanakado. They said they were going to continue their battle. Well, it's not urgent, just a little unexpected. You can read it for yourself if you want. What the? So Grandmaster Hanakado is actually part of the Arataki gang? But his communication style made Bullchucker feel like he was facing a mortal enemy. Just as Shinobu expected, Bullchecker is spending all his time beetle fighting without resting or eating. But he did get us to organize the beetle brawl event for him. You know, Paimon thinks Shinobu deserves to enjoy the ramen voucher more than we do. Why don't we take her for ramen when she gets back? Hmm. Actually, wait a moment. Bullchecker didn't tell us which ramen stall this voucher is meant to be used at. Are we supposed 